Hello friends, how's everybody doing today? Happy Wednesday, happy day before Thanksgiving. Uh, I hope you guys are doing something special or making it special in its own way um, for this holiday weekend. Let me know in the comments, do you have anything special planned or maybe you're just doing something different that you don't usually do to make it even more special. And so, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was in a little bit of a funk uh, earlier because we were just informed that um, Christine goes to, was going to school hybrid, um, so two days in person, two days online, three days online, so now it's gonna be 100% virtual. And um, we, like, I knew it was coming, but I think like somewhere in the back of my mind, I was secretly hoping that you know she could keep going to school because she loves it so much and she loves to interact with the kids. And she's just so, such a social butterfly that it's really, really important for her and that's how she's learning best. So with that being said, it's not gonna happen anymore. <laughs> Probably not, like for sure, I'm guessing, not until at least January, maybe later on, we'll see what happens. So I went to my book. And I looked up just like those sad feelings and um, what in the world, what oils could I use? So of course like a lots of oils come to your mind, but I figured I would use my book and check it out. I got actually got these new books. So this book here is Everyday Essentials Guidebook. I'm always on the hunt for new books and um, feeling good with essential oils. So these, both these books are from uh, Your Oil Tools. I'll put the link up here in the comments. I have a referral link and it just gives me a little bit back in my pockets to help give you guys even more amazing prizes all week, you know, during the month and to reward you and give you free stuff. That's what I love to do. Um, so if you are interested, they're having some really amazing Black Friday sales. So if you're interested in any tools or these books or whatnot, also um, you can get the um, pet book from Dr. Janet Rourke. This one here, um, Essential Oils for Pets Guidebook. That one is from Your Oil Tools as well. It's a really amazing book. We've been using um, stuff for Buddy, our new puppy, um, in here too. So um, when I looked it up, lo and behold, what comes up? Frankincense, right? So in addition to the Lifelong Vitality Essential Oil Supplements, which I am no, without a doubt, taking every single day, I've actually been um, thinking about maybe adding an extra, um, extra three just like midday, um, because I have been feeling a little bit like run down, I think is the word maybe, and I just need like a little bit of boost. So I added in, like I take in my Lifelong Vitality Essential Oil Supplements, right, because they're amazing for immunity, for better sleep, skin, hair, nails, all the systems, right, digestive, cardiovascular, respiratory, all the systems to help you keep going and working at your optimum levels to help support that body, right? But, um, I, um, so I added in two on guard soft gels in the morning and two in the evenings so that I could better support my body and boost my immunity. So those have been helping, but I've just been tinkering with another Lifelong Vitality um, essential oil supplement dose, like somewhere in the day, day just to kind of get me over the hump, right? Um, it also, those are also amazing for your mood. We talk about those for the foundation of our health, right? Because you always need that baseline, and especially maybe these next few days, I am definitely going to enjoy Thanksgiving dinner, right? And all the yumminess that I haven't been able to eat in forever. I'm I'm just going for it. Anybody else going for it? You're just gonna dive right in and say, what the world, life's too short, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy. What's your favorite meal or favorite thing to enjoy during Thanksgiving? Tell me in the comments. So, um, my Lifelong Vitality Essential Oils Supplements for sure, and frankincense, right? So, frankincense is often called the king of oils. You hear us talk about that all the time, and it's because it also amplifies the effects of other oils that it's mixed with. So that's why you see it, like we talk about it so much, right? We hear, you hear us say, when in doubt, you, you know, get your frank out. When in doubt, use frankincense, right? Frankincense and copaiba is another amazing oil blend. But it's just so good for so many different things. It's amazing for um, just overall optimal cell health. Crazy, right? It helps with anti-aging and skin health. It's also great for your mood. So if you have those feeling of sadness, you can t apply one drop to the roof of the mouth daily, right? So one of, a great thing that you can do is you just put your thumb over the top of your frankincense. You just turn it over like that. So it's not even a whole drop. And you just press your thumb to the roof of your mouth. You'd want to do it for about 30 seconds, but I don't want you to sit here and stare at me for 30 seconds. So that's not 
really cool. The other thing you can do, and what it does is it goes directly to your brain and starts to change the chemistry, right? So you can start feeling better. The other really great thing to do is add one to two drops of frankincense and wild orange and a little bit of water, a little shot glass of water and just shoot it back. Instant mood boost right there, right? Wild orange is so amazing for your mood boost. It's super energizing, right? And it just smells amazing and can't help but make you smile. So that's a really great another way to use um, the frankincense. And then, uh, you know me, I've got my frankincense roller. I think I've told you sitting by, um, by my chair when I watch TV at night and I'm working on my computer and doing catching up on some work and messaging some people, right? Making sure that uh, they got their oils and they got their other stuff. So I just roll this all over. It's great for um, those moles, right? You can see I have lots of moles. And any other kind of like, if you have like different other skin imperfections, I would just roll this all over. But it's also super calming, right? It's great for if you do meditation or prayer or devotions or even yoga. It's really great for that. And then I also have frankincense in my thyroid support roller. So I have a sluggish thyroid and what I do is I repurpose. So when I'm done this roller that I'm rolling all over my face when I run out, I just repurposed it here and I added the other oils that are amazing in my thyroid roller. So my marjoram, clove, bud, lemongrass, and myrrh, 10 drops of every single oil, fill it the rest of the way with fractionated coconut oil and bam, this is my thyroid roller right, that I roll around my ears every single day, at least twice a day, sometimes I do three or four, and like all over my thyroid here, oh, my thyroid says thank you, right, and then what's really great about the rollers is that you can just pop the top off, see these doTERRA rollers, so even if I have the oil, if a roller comes out and it's free, like with the breathe rollers, right, and that bow goes, how amazing. I just use this and then I'll pop the top off. They're really easy. You can get a butter knife. My nails aren't going to let me do it right now. Watch. But <laughs> I swear it's pretty easy to pop the tops off. 20 drops of the oil in the bottle or if it's a stronger one, do like 10 to 15. And then fill the rest away fractionated coconut oil and bam. I like it because I'm lazy and it already has the label on it. It tells me exactly what's in it. Now with our frankincense, people are like, oh, you know, I see frankincense everywhere. Yes, if you see frankincense for a dollar, run the other way, because <laughs> it's not real frankincense. Frankincense is sourced in Somalia, and it's like way up on the cliffs where the frankincense trees are, and people have to climb the trees, and you have to sort the resin and all this stuff, and then you gotta send it back. So definitely can't get frankincense, pure frankincense anyways, for a dollar. And what's really special about doTERRA's frankincense is it has four different species, four different species of frankincense. So you're getting the maximum number of health benefits all in this one bottle. You can look up like Franken doTERRA frankincense and you can do the source, you know, the source the behind the bottle stories and all that good stuff. But it's got the three different species. And it's really, really amazing. And that's what makes doTERRA's frankincense so, so amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Awesome. The other thing I like to do is at, in the first thing in the morning and the first thing at night, I do um, two to three drops in a shot glass of water, two to three drops of geranium, two to three drops of pink pepper, two to three drops of frankincense, and a little shot of water and then I just shoot it back. I do that in the morning and the evening and then what I'll do is you can put the yarrow palm, I take my yarrow palm, two to three drops, you can either put it in um, the water as well but I find like it sticks to the side. So I just take my dropper here and I'll just do it underneath my tongue. And I don't really taste it at all but I love how awesome is, how beautiful is that color, right? How, whoops, sorry. How amazing is that? Isn't that gorgeous? That's yarrow palm. Yarrow palm, you rub all over your face, stretch marks, any kind of skin imperfections, and it's great for hormone balancing, helps support hormone balancing. So that combination with yarrow palm, frankincense, pink pepper, and grapefruit, I do it in the morning, and then I do it in the evening too before I go to bed. It's great for a healthy metabolism to support weight management. It's great for to support hormone balancing. So good for so many things. It helps to detoxify the body, right? So many things that we want to do on a daily basis. So what are other things that frankincense is good for? Um, it helps to keep help you have a healthy inflammatory response, right? We talk about that cell health. So two drops in a veggie capsule daily, or you can do a drop under your tongue to have that healthy inflammatory response. And then you can diffuse frankincense to conquer self-doubt and create mindfulness. How cool is that?
All right, there's a reason why we call it the king of oils. Then you got over here, the feeling good with essential oils books. So what I like, I really love about this book is, um, it's kind of like advanced oil magic book that I've been raving about in terms of, I love the protocols. Well, this book here gives you the protocols for emotions. I really enjoy the um, essential emotions book. I think not the ninth edition is out now. Um, I think you can get that on Aroma Tools, I think is where you can get it. But this book is on your oil tools. And like I said, I really love that it has um, these protocols. So for example, if I look up feelings of depression, it's going to tell me in here, hopefully you guys can see it with the glare, tells me what oils to use, what supplements I can use, notice lifelong vitality, right? And then it has a protocol here and then suggested duration. So it's just like advanced oil magic where it has those protocols in it, which I really, really love. So if I look up feelings of sadness, feelings of depression, you know, feelings of just hopeless, right, in a way. Um, the first oil that comes up is frankincense. And then your protocol, the first part that comes up is two drops of frankincense or copaiba under the tongue twice a day, right? Now when it says under the tongue, you can do that under the tongue, you can push it to the roof of your mouth, or you can do it with a shot of water or in a veggie capsule. Whichever way works best for you, get that oil internally. Frankincense has so many amazing benefits other than just those feelings of sadness. You can diffuse peppermint and rosemary together. Ooh, apply three drops each of blue tansy and lemon onto a cotton wick inhaler and inhale multiple times per day. And then diffuse two to three drops of the holiday peaceful blend. So did you get your holiday peace yet? Ah, you wanna go get your holiday peace, right? So lots and lots of ways, lots of amazing things to use um, for those feelings of sadness. Then let me look up in the back. What I like is in the back, you can also look up all those oils um, and see what they do for emotions. So frankincense, you're gonna use to support these positive emotions and experience. You're gonna use frankincense to feel aligned, calm, focused, intuitive, loved, manifesting, peace, resilient, unashamed, and whole. And then once again, frankincense amplifies the effects of all the other oils it's mixed with and it's wonderful to support Wonderful support reducing feelings of anxiety, depression, and fatigue, right? Bam. Thank you, ma'am. Yep. Inhale directly from the bottom or place one drop underneath your tongue. So isn't that so crazy? It always blows my mind that I can just take my oil, right, and smell it. And that automatically is like working with your brain chemistry to change exactly how you're feeling. The other thing you can do, right, we do this with a lot of oils, just put a drop on our hands, rub our hands together, Oh, and smell and it smells so ma like I love the smell of frankincense um, uh, and then you could actually with this one I'd like to rub it all over my face <laughs> although I already have frankincense on my face but you could totally do this on your face right so so amazing so tell me in the comments how do you, you use frankincense I also we've been doing like I'll do a drop in my hands and rub it on my face and then I'll give buddy our our five-month-old puppy He's giant now, he's like 45 pounds. <laughs> but I'll give, I'll give him a doggy massage and it's really relaxing for him and it's great to help support their bones and their muscles and like their whole body, right? Especially while they're developing. It's great for brain health and just every single part of their body with those feelings of ang anxiousness um, and just helps them calm down as well. So it's a great thing to do um, for your fur babies as well. So I hope you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving. I am so very thankful for every single one of you and all of your support. Um, stay tuned, we've got lots coming for you. I'm very, very excited um, for all things that are coming in um, December and even November, the end of November. Um, so be safe, stay well, and make sure you're using your oils. We'll talk to you guys later.